Now we leave Bath and continue out west to our final curious stop that owes so much to the Great West Way, beautiful Bristol. Bristol Temple Mead Station was built in the 1840s, originally as the terminus for the Great Western Railway. If you think the station looks a bit like a palace, you're right. It was actually modeled after Henry VIII's Hampton Court Palace. And the man who designed it was the same curious fella who built the Great Western Railway. His name was Isambard Kingdom Brunel. Yes, seriously. He also built something else spectacular here in Bristol, which takes us to lovely Bristol Harbor. Before the railway brought passengers here, Bristol was important because of its harbor. It was once one of the busiest trading ports in the world. So with a rich maritime history, our next curious stop is no surprise, the SS Great Britain, built by, you guessed it, Isambard Kingdom Brunel. So he engineered, obviously, the Great Western Railway, which mm -hmm. we're talking about a lot. And then he got bored. He said, well, what am I going to do next? I'll create a ship. Because how did the order of these things, how are they all interrelated? It was said that during a meeting of the shareholders, they were talking about um, extending the Great Western Railway to other parts of the country. And someone made a joke about extending all the way to America. And then he said, uh, well, what a good idea. Let's give that a go. And what a go it was. The SS Great Britain was an engineering marvel. What was so new and groundbreaking about this ship? Uh, there were several features which were new. So um, she's the first iron-hulled, screw-propelled ship to cross the Atlantic. She was also the biggest ship in the world when she was built. She was so big, actually, they had to build a new dry dock just to fit her in. And to get to be a transatlantic passenger on this giant, groundbreaking ship would have been an amazing experience. Where we're sitting is a very elegant place. Very I'm good. going to guess not everybody on this <laughs> ship got to dine here. This is the steerage class. These third-class passengers would all bunk out together in these tiny bunk beds. It's cramped, it's narrow, it would have been dark, it would have been extremely smelly, um, and there's not much privacy, as you can see. Not much privacy. So these are all bunk beds, but these are families and strangers and everybody just all bunking out together no matter what. No, no real privacy or doors or partitions or anything. Yeah, so you'd have a little curtain which you could pull across ah, for a bit go. of, okay. uh, yeah, for a bit yeah. of uh, privacy. And there are doors at the end, but this was basically a thoroughfare at the same time. So, I mean, it's, yeah, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty small. But then we know that people were giving birth in here. There were people having fights in here, people living their everyday lives. OK, let's come back up for air, shall we? It's time to disembark the SS Great Britain to see Brunel's final achievement, the symbol of Bristol. This is the Clifton Suspension Bridge. It opened in 1864, sadly after Brunel's death. To this day, it is one of the world's great suspension bridges. My favorite tidbit is that these towers were originally supposed to be Egyptian, with two sphinxes on the top of each. That Brunel really was quite curious.